Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. And Girls Watchers Light. This is your December read for this current year. Yay. Sagittarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you. Good deal. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Boop your nose, way it goes. There's no reason to like hold on to something that doesn't resonate with you, right? So don't come, don't go in on me. I swear, because I go in back. Yeah, I match energy. So let me know how we're gonna act today. You right? Right? My gem Sag rising, so I always get excited with you guys because you're my favorites. Maybe. Not everybody's my favorite in one way or another. Ah, uh, cross watcher switch where you need to, because you know, I have no idea what's going on. Because I'm an idiot and a messenger, right? Uh, if you do not like curse words, please do not, like, get offended by me starting to say them. Because I like my F-bombs. And if you get offended, well, it's going to hurt you more than the will meme, right? Right. Newcomers, if you want a personal read, all the information is down below after the music listings that I use as background, right? First readings on the house. Everything else comes with a price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Sagittarius and cross watchers, let's see what's going on with you. You have anxiety. Look at it. <laughs> it, it so much it killed the cat. And in this situation, you feel like your emotions be getting played with, right? However, the wants and wishes, we got a magician doing some dirty, dirty things. Nasty things. And the obstacle and challenge is walking away from that shit, right? Fears and rejections. Hmm. Felt left out in the cold, y'all. How this shit starts, how it'll end. The full circle to the cycle. Somebody holding back their truth. Hmm. You know, hiding in the shadows, refusing to kill off all of this heartbreak that they've been dealing with in order for something new to start. Sagittarius, what the fuck? Oh, even two more cards. Holy shit. You guys are getting messages out the ass. Uh, not having a pairing is giving you a little bit of unrest, right? But, like, you guys are adventurers. You guys are loners anyway. Like, you know. Like, love is nice and all. You know? But, like, where's the fun in that if they ain't your drinking buddy and doing really crazy shit with you? You know? Ace of Pentacles is the beginning theme. This is an overwhelming offer where a dragon could eat that ass, but not in that way. Right? Not in the good way. Anyway. So, let's see. You got anxiety about letting something go, but it, only because, like, you know, you're afraid of being alone or left out in the cold, man. Like, you know, if someone, if there's a situation where people's emotions are getting played with. There's a dastardly magician right here poisoning people, sticking his finger in the cup like a double dipper. And there's some truth being held back right here, y'all. Don't know what the fuck that's about, but, you know, whatever. I have so many people like dinging me up and it's like god damn it like can i go one day without like posting something about people thinking i'm dead this one just one that's a good one but never someone's got anxiety they gotta face that fucking devil whether they want to or not get the courage for it right it could be leo could be a capricorn oh definitely could be leo oh shit do you have to face this devil because they won't stop watching you or people are watching you or you feel like if you don't stand up for yourself a little bit like people are just gonna be mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. I'm throwing one more. Yeah. Sag and cross watcher. Someone's not paying attention to their intuition in this. I mean, if you're worried about people watching you as you stand up to this devil or people uh, getting ready to shoot at you from a fucking wall, that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that there are more people on your side than what you think in this scenario. The moon with the situation, people be feeling like their emotions are played with, right? They're trying to make decisions that are fucking with their emotions. And y'all are probably deciding, you know, like, I'm just going to walk. Like, fuck this. 
Like there's somewhere else out there where maybe somebody's leaving you like that, right? You know, making you feel like the pairing isn't good enough or no matter how long you all have been together, it's just not working out. Mm. Interesting. Sorry, I'm like messing with my fucking eyeball because there's something in it. It's like cat hair and shit. Like this shirt attracts so much cat hair and it's annoying. Let's see, the magician. He's got his finger in the cup, poisoning it, right? Could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius, but somebody is definitely like trying to cut shit off and keep their back turned to it completely. Kind of want to go on a boat trip. You want to travel. You're not anybody's fool. But this might be something that, like, you've done in the past. Like, you know, Sag. And I will say that I agree with this just because I'm Sag rising. But the greatest feeling in the world is to travel somewhere where no one knows who the fuck you are. And you can start a brand new adventure. And you would be like, ooh, I could be a whole new personality now. And nobody fucking knows me. Yes. Like that detachment, you know. It's almost like the need to flee. However, your obstacle and challenge is walking away from shit and start, yeah, you want to start a new adventure and that's an obstacle for you because you're attached and it feels like you put yourself in that spot for sure. I'm going to just drop three for all of them because fuck it. Yeah. yeah, it feels like you created a scenario for yourself and this is the world that you have to live in and, I'm, and I'll tell you right now, no you don't. No you don't. You just got to make sure that like if you are leaving, it's based more on like a sense of like principle rather than a sense of you know uh fuck i don't want to do this shit anymore it's starting to get on my nerves i don't care now stop asking for more of my time i just saw you for like two minutes how much more time do you need you know like one of those things like you love your peoples but you hate when they ask you for more of your time that's how I feel a little bit. Mm. Let's see. Fears and rejections, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher. You've been left out in the cold by someone you thought was good for you, and it's like, oh, I should have never dated you. You're kind of annoyed. And yeah. You feel left out in the cold. You thought that this person cared, and now it feels like, well, did they ever fucking care? Like, are they, ever, are they ever even going to try to bother to talk to me? Like, do they even have feelings for me? What the hell is going on? I want to go right now, you know? Like, you're just ready. Like, you're just done. You're just like, ah. Uh, I'm so glad, like, I, I, I can talk to you guys in a really exasperated way, and you understand why I am so, like, excited. Because it's just like, you know, I want to go somewhere else, you know? It's like this person made you feel like your feelings didn't matter. But, I, but it's also like they didn't take the time to realize you guys have a lot of feelings. Like, you know, you're fire signs. And you guys get in your feelings real quick. Like, real quick. And you let people know how you feel, too. You know. And you feel like this shit made you into almost a junkie to the point where there is no recovery. And you're just, like, zombified. Which is probably, like, why your instinct of leaving is so, like, strong. It, 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 it's like an... It's like... A defense mechanism almost for you guys the problem is you don't know how to walk away because it feels like you created this environment hmm which I will tell you if you could create one environment you can create another one Sagittarius and cross watcher like you know there's something I saw like on a meme or something where like a mom was telling her kid they were getting ready to move and the kid was actually excited and mom's like it's really weird you're excited honey most kids would be sad and the kid was like i've got a lot of enemies here it's time to go it's kind of like that it's kind of like i gotta go man like i don't like anybody here and nobody likes me let's see ace of swords reverse how this shit starts how it'll end you know probably looking for information that didn't serve you the way you thought it would, or it fed you the wrong ideas about shit. Could have been an air sign once again. It made this burden last longer than what it should have, almost to the point of stagnation. And now you definitely are looking for a fucking change, because it's like, I'm not getting what I need, what I not. This person keeps holding back on me. Um, I want to leave now, you know? Like, there are a bunch of Bettys. You are ready to take a leave of faith to be the Betty, 
but there's still this other Betty, and it's just like, are you gonna get rid of that other bitch, or are you gonna start talking to me? Like, you're in the dark about whether you can even take a leap of faith or not. Ending theme. Hmm. What you offered was kindness, respect, understanding, cooperation, and this Ace of Pentacles just brought you somebody who just set you on fire and you were just like, I will beat your ass. And the person was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go, bye. And it was like a shit offer anyway, but it was a shit offer that was like almost meant to consume you, to drive you into madness and make you think that like, I feel like you weren't good enough, which is really fucked when you think about it, right? You know, you're at a crossroads right now and there might be potentially people helping you. You're still pissed, though. You're still pretty bitter. You'd be like, I got my ducks in a row, but I will fucking burn your house down, you know? Sad to cross watcher, I feel like even at this crossroads, like, if someone were to come up and help you, you'd probably, like, go off on them just a little because, like, it's hard for you to deal right now with your emotions. But you're good for the most part. Like, you're recognizing stuff, so it's not too terribly bad. It's just, you're just mad that it didn't go the way you wanted it to, I feel like. Down the situation, you might have been trying to pull tricks, and those tricks did not work in your favor. You probably broke your horse's leg, and now it's like you're just not offering anything anymore. It's just like, I've tried to get your attention. I've tried doing everything I can. I'm not putting any more energy into this. Like, I, 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 I could get drunk and just stare at my Xbox screensaver for three hours and be more productive than what you were, kind sir and or ma'am. I feel like you were really trying to get somebody's attention and, like, it never got their attention the way you thought it would. So it was like you kind of gave up on trying to give them anything, you know? And, like, it, it was like you were on drugs, and now you're realizing you're carrying a snake around with a black dog barking at it. And you're just like, what the fuck just happened? How did I end up in Nevada? I'm pretty sure I was in Colorado, like, an hour ago, but, you know, you never know. Like, wants and wishes. Yeah, definitely ending this thing, ending it all, just being like, oh, fuck it, death, come over here, right? But... But, 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 this air sign. There might be an air sign trying to come in and fuck you up, and you're gonna have to pull them off their horse and, like, stab them with their own sword. Like, they were trying to drag you into death's grasp, and then it was just like, uh uh, you get down. You, like, are you tired? Because you're about to go night night. <laughs> oh, fuck. Obstacles and challenges, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher. Yeah, here's this air sign again. All bitter, not giving a shit who they hurt. All in order to get a victory, or just to watch you come up and beg. In order to feel like you are a chosen one. Which, I really don't like. Like, at all. It's like, who, who like, hmm. Like, that actually pisses me off a little bit. I have to say, me personally, it's like this person's come expecting you to come up and beg because they're too busy in their own damn feelings to even, like, think about, like, you know, being gentle to you. No, they are going to sit on their horse and then expect you to run up to them just to get a crown. It's like, you know, like, what do you mean I got to come here? Why don't you come here to me? Why I got to go over there to you all the fucking time? You know, like, that's how I feel in this, you know. That's how I would feel. It's just like, how dare you expect me to walk up to you? I'm a fucking queen. Who are you talking to? You know, I don't fucking approach you. You come to my throne. Like, I'm gonna beg for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm talking so much shit. And I don't know why. But that's how this person's kind of making me feel. It's just like, well, how, are you gonna get, come, how are you gonna ride up and then expect me to come up to you and beg you to give me a fucking wreath? Do you not see how pretty my hair is? Do you not see that, like, I'm trying to talk to you on some serious level? That's fine, baby. Just take this. Let's see. I don't want the damn crown. I want you to walk up to me. You know? Because they already aren't doing that. You know? And it feels like you can't... Like you, It's like you're looking at your phone waiting to see if they're going to say anything. That way you know what options to take. Because it's like you've already tried other shit. 
and it didn't help you. You didn't, like, the jewels, like, money didn't help you. The snake you were wearing as a belt, it was a lot of wisdom, and that didn't help you. You still feel like you're sitting there watching your phone and shit, and it's just like, ugh. And that's what's making you into a zombie. It's like you're worried too much about this connection that isn't even there. All right, what comes full circle, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end. Yeah, it's just like, this is not heaven. This is not Michael. This is not Michael. This is Malachi, and he's duping you to a world that you don't want to be in, right? Oh, there's quite a few. Uh, no matter what you do, this person will bother the fuck out of you. Like, you could try to rest, and then like, all of a sudden they'll want to text and be like, I got a flower, sniff it. I'm allergic to that flower. I said sniff, you know. Uh, probably got you drinking, or they're drinking, and their horse drags them back into town every time. You know. Then they want to act like they're victorious when, like, they drive you away. When in reality, it's like they can't dump their own cups. Like, you know, this is a person, whoever it is you're dealing with, Sag and Crosswatcher alike, or this could be you, but whoever this person is, um... They wouldn't be able to admit they fucked up right in front of themselves. Like... They could, they could, they could, they could stab themselves in the foot with, or they could shoot themselves in the foot with their own gun and be like, I can't believe you did that to me. And you're like, I didn't, I wasn't even holding the gun. This is your fault. It's your gun. How could you do this to me? I don't even know how to shoot a gun. You were supposed to teach me. And instead we're going in a hospital ambulance truck because you shot yourself in the foot. You know? It's like this person would rather blame you for their problems than like recognize that they did shit to both of you they ruined their own chances but they're ha but they're staying silent because like let me think it's kind of like a dark thing like they'll stay silent in order for you to keep thinking that it's your fault for how things went down when in reality it was their inaction and their inability to be a fucking adult and communicate that fucked them up to begin with you know that was a book but that's way too many Mm. Yeah, this isn't heaven. Go have fun. Go have fun. Find some friends and go have fun. Fuck this shit. Like, this is some dumb... This is some dumb shit, man. Yeah, go have fun with your friends, because no matter how many times you try to deal with this person, you will not be able to discuss, debate, parlay, um, work out anything, even after conflicts. This is a person, whoever you're dealing with, Sad and Crosswatcher, who, uh refuses to acknowledge anything that they've done wrong like it'll be a big ass circle that'll just keep saying that it's your fault when in reality it's just like this is not my fault you did this why are you blaming me you know that's your reading sag fuck whoever is like trying to break your heart and then act like it's your fault for getting heartbroken dicks if you enjoyed this reading please like share and subscribe uh, you don't have to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd also greatly appreciate it if this person would fuck off and leave you alone, you know? Uh, but I love you guys. I will see you later. You have a good day. Bye-byes.